Today I'm going to teach you how to make pinto beans from dried beans. We're going to need an onion, a hunk of ham, and the dried beans. Here's the recipe. I'm going to double this recipe because I want leftovers. There's a lot of things you can do with leftover pinto beans. This is my favorite pan. It's We've had it for a very long time. It's a colander, a steamer. It's got a lid on it that fits my iron skillets. I love this thing. I'm going to wash my beans. Then I'm going to add I'm going to add a, a lot of water to them. <laughs> I'm going to put 12 cups of water in them. But you follow the recipe. Bring the water to the boil and boil for two minutes. And then turn the heat off and put the lid on it. And while it's sitting for an hour, I want you to mince an onion. Now, mincing an onion means making it really tiny pieces. Then you're going to chop up some ham. I'm using about a cup and a half here. And I'm going to, after it's, after it's set for an hour, I'm going to drain off the water. And then I'm going to add the exact same amount of water that I did in the beginning. And I'm going to add to that the onion and the ham and some pepper and salt and a little cayenne for taste. And then I'm going to cook it on low. I'm really doing it about on two or three on my electric stove. At the same time, I'm, I'm going to start a big kettle of water going. Because as the, as the beans soak up the water, I'm going to need to add some water. And if you add water to cooked beans, it will break it apart. So I always add hot water to my beans because that keeps them from falling to pieces. And then you let them cook for a couple of hours and you've got pinto beans and that's what's for dinner tonight. So enjoy your meal and I'm gonna make some country fried potatoes to go with it and that'll be next.